I absolutely love passive income. And there's really one thing that I love more than passive income is when there's no cost to entry, because oftentimes you have to spend money to make money. But in crypto and in specifically five projects that we'll talk about in today's video, you don't have to spend money to make money. In fact, a lot of these programs you can run on your phone, you can run on your computer, uh, and they are absolutely free. That said, there is a bit of uh, ingenuity and some things that you have to do in order to take the effort, time, and energy to set these programs up. But once they're up and going, you really don't have to do a whole lot to maintain them. That is the beauty of passive income. Uh, and some of these do have, when you look at all of these uh, in total, you could make maybe $100, $200, $300 a month very, very easily. Uh, some of it is obviously speculative because some of these projects are crypto based. And as the native tokens for these projects fluctuate in price, so will your rewards. That said, a lot to jump into in today's video. If you're new here, my name is Alex. We talk about crypto, crypto news, crypto passive income. If you enjoy content like that, consider subscribing. You enjoyed this video, smash up the like. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, so as we dive into this video, the first five projects or first five applications specifically uh, are all ones that you can run on your computer or desktop, really anything, a laptop, even uh, fairly, fairly simple to do. Now, some of these do require some prerequisites, maybe the, the quality of the CPU, the power of the CPU, the power of the GPU, uh, but some of these also don't require any GPU or CPU. You just have to have a normal old Dell laptop and you're more than fine. Now, that said, at the end of this video, I'm gonna talk about two specific applications that you can run on your phone for completely free uh, that are also uh, able to generate a form of passive income. Now. The first project, we've talked about this a very long time ago, uh, maybe two years ago, a year and a half ago, it's been a very long time. But the one that is probably the most well known is a project called Honeygain. Now, Honeygain uses unused uh, bandwidth and uh, pays out in fiat. It's a fairly simple overall application. Uh, I have it running on my computer. Um, and you can see that you earn on a daily basis, uh, you earn Honeygain tokens. Now, at the point that you reach uh, 20,000 Honeygain tokens, you're able to claim uh, the Honeygain tokens and get paid out to your PayPal wallet. So it's fairly simple. On average, uh, for me specifically, this does vary quite a bit. And a lot of it is due to the fact that some of the rewards that I earn are based off of how many devices I have connected uh, and also at the same time, referrals. So referrals are pretty big in the overall statistics of Honeygain. Uh, and overall, I see myself earning maybe about $20 or getting enough points you can see here um, almost every 45 days. Now, a lot of times you can also uh, open up the honey pot so you can open up the, the lucky honey pot. And sometimes you do get lucky and you get a ton of honey tokens. Uh, in this instance, I got two, which is really pitiful. But either way, you know, in this instance, the bandwidth and that you're sharing through here, you can see over the last 30 days, I've earned 4789 uh, last seven days. Uh, and this also fluctuates quite a bit. So you can see just in the last seven days, it's been a thousand. So this does vary quite a bit. Uh, you can see, you know, if you look at just the 30 days, you know, it, it does vary. Uh, sometimes it's a bit more, sometimes it's a bit less. And obviously as you have, um, let me see if I can do, okay, that's just that month. So I was thinking if I could do for like the whole time that I've run Honey Gain, but usually it's like every 45 days, every 60 days. So every other month I'm able to, to just cash out 20 bucks. And so for me doing really absolutely nothing, uh, except running this application on my computer, it's actually quite nice. So 
is not an amazing, uh, insane amount of money every single month, but when you get paid out 20 bucks, now you can, well, can't really take two people out for dinner nowadays with 20 bucks, but you can maybe get yourself a meal uh, at Chick-fil-A, you know, for your, you know, spicy chicken sandwich combo, right? And, and it's kind of nice because you don't really have to do anything for this. It's completely free, you add it, uh, you download the software, it's completely safe, it's been used for a very, very long time, um, and you know, you just make a little bit of cash on the side. So, Honey Gain is probably the one that's most well known, uh, and it pays out in fiat. So you don't have to really worry about the fluctuation in the cryptocurrency that you're earning. Now, one of the more popular ones recently that we've also talked about on the channel is uh, Grass. Now, we very briefly talked about Grass uh, in another video, but Grass has a very, very interesting approach, uh, similar to the likes of Honeygain as far as uh, sharing bandwidth and unused data. Now, Grass's approach, Grass has a massive, massive community. Uh, there's over, if we look at 2 million active nodes on Grass, so over 2 million people who actively run uh, a Grass a web extension, essentially, as a node. So a, a massive, massive community. Uh, and essentially, Grass is positioning itself as the data layer of AI. Now, obviously, AI is a very hot topic, and there is a lot of speculation as far as Grass uh, doing an airdrop and a token launch, uh, which would be obviously extremely successful due to the amounts of people currently uh, utilizing and participating in the likes of grass. So you can see some details as to the idea behind uh, grass being the data layer of AI. So grass deals exclusively with data public from the public web, uh, while plenty of web 2.0 businesses harvest your data and actively data and actively and sell them to the highest bidder. Grass only deals with public content taken from normal websites. None of this data comes from users. And they go to a bit more detail as to what this is. Uh, and so I think it's a very interesting concept. AI has to have data in order to train. And when you have 2 million active nodes uh, constantly collecting data, not from you personally, but from the web itself, it's extremely lucrative because that data is very, very rich. So it'll be interesting. It's still quite early for the likes of Grass, even though in the crypto space, it's one of the older uh, projects. It's also one of the biggest, it might be the biggest uh, project that is directly involved in this uh, bandwidth sharing space. Now, there's others before in the past that do require hardware to purchase uh, in order to participate, but Grass is completely free. It is just a Google Chrome extension. Uh, so it is one of those things that obviously is extremely appealing for those that don't want to go and buy a hardware device. Now, there is a new project. Uh, I wouldn't say necessarily as new new as it was maybe a couple of months ago, but it's still very, very early to the likes of NodePay. Uh, NodePay is still uh, what I would consider early access. They are recently made it in the top 40 startups at Consensus 2024. I, I believe they actually placed second uh, only to one other project. Uh, and NodePay is also right there alongside of the likes of Grass when it comes to uh, use, sharing uh, your unused bandwidth and data uh, and getting rewarded for it. Kind of a, along the same lines of Honeygain, but with a twist with the focus of being rewarded in cryptocurrencies. Now, when you look at NodePay, you can see uh, overall this just launched as far as the earning with the likes of NodePay. When you look at Grass and you look at my specific dashboard, uh, Grass has been around for quite a while, has got involved in Grass very, very early on. Um, and I think maybe if we look at the rewards, you can see even in the first epoch uh, back in January, I was already involved in the likes of Grass. Now Node uh, Pay is very, very new and they just launched, this is as of a week ago, uh, the the earning ro of rewards for the likes of this also Google Chrome extension. So you don't have to buy new hardware. You can run this really on any computer uh, as long as you've got Google Chrome and you can add that extension with the likes of NodePay. But like I said, it is relatively new. There's still more things coming to the likes of NodePay. They do have a referral program. Uh, you are going to earn more 
uh, from referrals. So that is one of those things. It doesn't cost anything. You can uh, share this with anyone. I'll have mine down below. You can see here my IP, my device connected and currently earning. Now, the thing you have to realize with both Grass and NodePay, there's not a native token yet. Uh, so do realize that that there's no financial, no immediate financial compensation for sharing your bandwidth. The idea is when they do launch tokens or possibly airdrops, uh, that is the appeal and why you have, for example, with Grass, over 2 million registered uh, nodes. Kind of insane. Uh, but you can see my earnings so far. You can see since it started uh, here uh, back on May 29th, and you can kind of see those rewards uh, going up and down. I expect that this, obviously, as node pay grows, clean up the, the dashboard, make it a little bit more appealing. I have to say the likes of Grass's dashboard is really, really appealing. Um, and you know, when, when you look at NodePay, it's still relatively early. So if you do wanna get in early into a project, an earlier version of Grass, NodePay is definitely one to check out. Now, uh, another one that's been around for a long time, but it seems like all the time people are still finding out about NiceHash for the very first time, uh, NiceHash is also something completely free to download, but it does require a quality computer component, whether that is a GPU or a CPU. Now, one of the nice things with NiceHash is if you download it, you can run both your GPU and CPU and get paid out in Bitcoin. Now, NiceHash has been around for a long time. I did put together just kind of two very simple uh, GPUs that probably people already have in their computer that also are actually really good quality GPUs. A 2080 Ti, for example, makes about 21 cents a day. Uh, and when you look at a Ryzen 9 5900, kind of right around there at the same price uh, or the, the same revenue. So if you have a gaming PC and you have a 2080 Ti and you've got a, uh, a AMD uh, CPU, you could be making an extra 40, maybe 50 cents per day uh, in passive income, you know, you look at that $15, $20 a month. Uh, and obviously that is going to fluctuate with the price of Bitcoin. It's going to fluctuate with the overall network hash rates based on the different algorithms that NiceHass is utilizing in order to pay you out in BTC. That said, passive income is passive income. And if you make 15, 20 bucks a month uh, from just from doing this in profit, well, there's uh, another Chick-fil-A sandwich uh, completely free. So uh, outside of NiceHash, there's one that's also very similar to the likes of uh, NiceHash, and that is called Unminable. Now, um, Unminable can be run from your PC. Uh, it is gonna be one of those that does require a somewhat quality CPU or GPU if you really want to realize any form of profitability. Now, the unique thing behind Unminable is you can choose what cryptocurrency you get paid out in. Uh, it's not going to be specifically Bitcoin, which is really the prevalent uh, currency with the likes of NiceHash. What's so unique with Unminable is you have a ton of different options. I don't know why you would choose anything outside of Caspa, but uh, if you were to choose, you know, maybe you, you're a huge fan of uh, Bonk and you want to accumulate Bonk and you don't want to sell the currency that you're mining in order to exchange it for bonk you can get just directly paid out in bonk you can do that you can do the same with uh really a lot of different cryptocurrencies that, that are involved pepe raven coin um sushi rat bitcoin uh dog with hat there, there's just a ton of different options uh, available and this kind of saves you the hassle of having to use an exchange you can get directly paid out to your uh, wallet for that specific cryptocurrency. This is also available on mobile apps, which kind of brings us to the mobile application side of things. You can have Unminable on your uh, phone and use the CPU from a phone. We've done videos of uh, mining phone farms if you're trying to use a phone in order to earn passive income, which also brings us to the next application, uh, which you can run on your phone whether that is uh, predominantly Android, all of these work specifically with Androids, do make sure that the type of device you're using has the type of CPU that can run some of these applications. Uh, for example, Veriscoin, we've done a video of Ver Veriscoin phone farms, how we calculated how much we could earn, uh, and having about 10 cents, uh, eight to 10 cents a day, obviously depends on the price of Veris, uh, but there's an additional 
passive income opportunity. It's not going to be anything insane, obviously, uh, but it is those things as they add up. You have you know two to three dollars a day become sixty dollars a month, seventy dollars a month. It'll be interesting to see what the price of grass and uh, node pay tokens are going to be. But all of these things, you combine them. There's nothing that you have to do. These are all things that you maybe have laying around the house. Uh, you have a computer that you don't want to use and you just want to turn it on uh, for completely uh, free form of passive income. And who knows, some of those cryptocurrencies that you get in early on can do a 10x and then all of a sudden it's not just eight cents a day it could be 80 cents a day it could be eight dollars a day uh, and those things can compound that said i love to hear your thoughts what are some different projects uh different applications different uh software programs that you can run completely for free and earn passive income comment them down below if you enjoyed this video smash up a like you enjoy content like this consider subscribing and until next time guys stay invested